can't go to a mall mm. in Allen, Texas, one of the safest places in America. It's a wealthy community. People drop their kids off there because it's supposed to be safe there. But what can we do on our end? I mean, even in Texas, we, we have constitutional carry. There's a lot of people that carry there. Um, what can we do to keep ourselves safe? Yeah, I really think law enforcement, law abiding citizens should carry, uh, it's particularly when you don't, r r training is not required because it is, kind of, as you said, constitutional carry. But getting some training isn't uh, a bad idea to know the laws and also know how to defend yourself and others properly and within the confines of the law. And there's all, unfortunately, there are some places, Lawrence, that are, are gun free zones where the law, they tell law abiding citizens you better not bring your firearm. But of course, uh, you know, criminals, by definition, are outlaws. They're outside of the law and act outside of the law. So that doesn't keep everybody. I think the maximum way to be safe is to, to arm yourself and know how to use a firearm and also support law enforcement. Yeah. Pat Fallon from the great state of Texas represents the district outside of this mall. Um, Congressman, thanks so much for joining. God bless you, Lawrence. Take care. Me too, brother. I want to bring Coker back in here. Uh, tr does a lot of training on active shooter situations. Um, make it make sense, brother. We, 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 we keep hearing this over and over again. Um, we, we, we've talked about it far too much. What do we need to do to keep ourselves safe? Yes, sir. Just like the congressman uh, that spoke just before, uh, he definitely, definitely has a right that you, know, you have a right to, to arm, to bear arms. I mean, that's our second, constant, our second amendment, constitutional right to do is to uh, protect yourself. But you got to have a way uh, to mark yourself because when you pull that gun out as a concerned uh, patriot, you know, concealed patriot, what did you just become? You just became the man with a gun. You got to have some kind of way to identify yourself, to mark yourself as a good guy, being the good guy with a gun versus the bad got the gun and that that uh the officer had to make a split second decision to know is that a good guy or a bad guy with a gun and that you've got to be able to read that psychological uh body uh body movements to know if that guy's acting in a good way or bad way there's a lot going on there just like what the congressman said before you need to uh, have some training yeah what do you say to those folks that live in neighborhoods maybe like allen texas where they don't think crime will ever hit them and they don't need to prepare. What would you tell them? Again, going back to the avoid, do not offend. Run away like your life depends on it. Everyone needs to be physically fit and run fast. Uh, like I said, a moving target is a lot, a lot harder to shoot at than to want to sit and steal, being stationary. So move, move, move. Uh, second thing is to barricade. You know, try to put something between you and that gunman. Uh, barricade block away. And then the third is prepare to defend. And just like a hornet's nest, everybody comes together and everyone attacks. Even if you're unarmed, take whatever you have at hand, grab it, rock, whatever it may be, be and, and go ahead and attack that guy. Uh, enough people coming together at once will take out that armed gunman. I don't care if you're unarmed or not. It will happen. You can take him out and you can override him, whether it's on a plane, whether it's a Walmart, whether it may be. Always have a plan. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best with everything you do. And just like General Mathis once said, you know, uh, be polite, be professional, but have a plan to kill everyone you meet because you never know. You know, the, if, if you're at your workplace, your business workplace, something you might, might say could possibly cause someone to snap because they've had a very bad day. You don't know what kind of day someone's had. And your words can make the difference between, you know, uh, someone having a good day or a bad day. So always speak, you know, with, with kind words to somebody and your words can make a difference. You know, I think about this officer um, that killed the suspect, arrived on the scene, to, just for another call, heard the gunshots, and instantly responded to the scene and neutralized the subject. Um, that's good law enforcement work today. It's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I uh, give them uh, heroics. Like I so said, that's why the uh, cops are constantly training uh, over and over. They uh, doing the uh, marksmanship and also training not just you know with taking down the bad guy. But guess what? Now you got to deal with the first aid because again, when seconds count, cops and sometimes ambulances and fire trucks are, are minutes away. And uh, people that are on scene, also the cops that are there, we're carrying IFAT kits now, which are you know, individual first aid kits to be able to help save those wounded lives that are there. And you as a civilian 
team can do something as simple as uh, wrap it, slap it, and pack it. And what that means is, is take whatever you have available, uh, a purse, a cord, whatever it may be, wrap it high on the joint, and then take a pin and crank it down to help stop that bleeding. If there's any type of wound on your chest or on your back, you can take a piece of plastic, even a, a, a potato chip bag a cop's done, and placed it on that, that wound to help, you know, uh, uh, stop that pneumothorax and then also packing if it's in a jointed area to take whatever you have at hand a t-shirt whatever it may be a sock and shove it in there to help stop that bleeding 60 percent of uh, preventable deaths on the battlefield are, are from uh, massive hemorrhaging so if you can stop that you can help save lives also with the uh, the pneumothorax you know preventable deaths on the battlefield that's about 33 percent and then also opening the airway so having yeah. some first aid out there being armed and uh and and ELE, everybody love everybody. And for the people that are feeling sorry for themselves and having a bad day, stop playing the victim. Stop labeling yourself as, as what's wrong with you and start thinking about what you can do better for yourself. How do you can overcome your challenges? Because everybody loves a winner. Everybody loves a winner, America. And that's what you need to do. Stop thinking bad about yourself and start thinking about the good stuff. Overcome your obstacles. Put the bad stuff away and move on with life. So true. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. I want to go Thank now. You. you got it, brother.